Well, happy Monday, everybody. I hope you've grabbed your cup of coffee or your uh, sandwich if you're on the East Coast. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we've been doing coffee chats now for, a, 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 it feels like years. I think it's been just since right after uh, COVID started. And we've had some terrific speakers talking to us about all kinds of great ways to, um, you know, to take this time to learn new skills and to really position ourselves all for a really healthy and, and productive future. So today we've got Wes Womack from, with us. He's from DocuSign, and I'm sure many of you are aware and maybe using DocuSign, but he's going to give us some really good tips and tricks today. Um, and I wanted to just, before we get started, to remind all of you that uh, feel free to ask us questions. That's the whole idea here is for you to learn from, from all of us. Uh, so over here on the right-hand side in the control panel, you see that little bar that's got uh, the word question, just click on that, open it up and uh, ask us something and we'll either answer it right as you as you post it to us or we may do it toward the end of the session. So thanks again for everyone for being here. How many of you here today have, have been with us before? I'd love to hear from you. Hey Tim, there's one I know, He's I see his name regularly. Um, but let's let's introduce you, let, let us know and yeah, who's been on before, I love to see who's coming back. So Wes is the Director of Partner Development at DocuSign. We, we were just talking today about how DocuSign's been in business now for 15 years, and uh, that some of us maybe, you know, in our, uh, you know, this started when we were maybe in our mid 40s or even early 50s, uh, and that, you know, now today it's kind of a, it's kind of the Kleenex, I think, of, of electronic signature when I think of it. I think people use it like a verb, don't they, Wes? It's like the do. Yeah, I, I, yeah, the, yeah, the verb analogy holds there. That's that's good. Yeah, it's kind of, and then that's a great brand accomplishment to become the Kleenex of anything is a big deal, right? So good for you guys. Um, so you know, let's just start. We, it, we were we were talking this morning about you know it's one of the things that we uh, we all know that is important uh, about times like this is to sort of stay in the game, uh, stay consistent, and um, you, know, you learn like new disciplines about how to do that. So you want to tell us the story that you were telling me this morning about uh, about the hero that uh, you, were, you were describing? It's a very interesting story. Good thing for all of us to think about as we begin a new week and a new set of habits. Yeah, no, it's one that always uh, stuck with me. I actually first heard about this in college. It was uh, Ernest Shackleton, who was the Antarctic explorer, uh, kind of mm -hmm. going 1800s maybe he was the first to make it overland in Antarctica but he's actually more famous for the fact that uh, in one of his attempts his boats got stuck in the ice they were marooned there for a year and a half in the ice in Antarctica and uh, most notably everyone survived this year and a half right. that they stuck. and one of the things that when everybody got back to England or wherever they they had attributed uh, one of the things that was successful was that there were habits and there was a routine and Shackleton never let up on them that they had to make their beds and they all had a job and they all had duties and there was a schedule and uh, that persisted for a year and a half even though they were stuck in the ice and those routines and those habits were incredibly important for them to sort of see their way through those those sort of tough times and how did they not run out of food in a year and a half is what I want to understand. That's amazing, isn't it? Book. They ended up eating seals in the end. So it got a little weird in the end there, but they made it. They made it. So That's awesome. Now, while we're, while we're on quips, while we're talking about this, there was another great one we just were talking about before the call started about creating lifetime relationships with clients, because this is a great time. While while we're none of us would have chosen to be here, right? There is some opportunity here to create a different type of relationship than you would be able to in a normal time. So tell us the target story. That's a great one too. Yeah. So another one that's kind of not at all related to real estate or to DocuSign, but uh, another one that stuck with me was uh, reading about how Target markets to new and expectant mothers, and a lot of folks may remember that story because they were a little too creepily uh, had perfected uh, how they were able to figure out when someone was pregnant. Uh, but it's interesting why they were doing that and why it's been so successful is they identify that this is a time in our lives that's very disruptive. And in disruptive times, habits tend to break and that leaves room for new habits to form. And they have found, and they continue to do this to this day, that that's one of those disruptive times in life where old habits are, are breaking and reforming. And this is another one of those times, I think, where we're in this sort of disruptive mode. And a lot of the habits and how we uh, work in real estate are changing, right? And they're kind of being forced to change. And what Target found was that if you can hook them then, 
and get them to sort of rebuild their habits in your direction, you've got that much better of a chance to have a lifetime customer. And that's what they've done with, with new mothers at Target. So uh, I think there's a lot of corollaries there between that and sort of real estate services of like, what are the services that consumers may find valuable and that you can provide now that may hook them as a lifetime customer even after uh, we're all allowed to get off of our couches again? Exactly. So, you know, I I I solidly believe because I'm a I'm a believer. I use this stuff all the time in my business um, that taking us away from paper forms and paper signatures and you know uploads and faxes and all the crazy stuff that frankly uh, my my daughter's a senior in high school and so we're going through a lot of applications for not only college applications but you know scholarship applications and the ones that provide you with an online form to fill it out and push push go are so much easier so much less stressful than someone that's printed out make sure you've signed it how do you how do i get my signature on there upload it or it works just have to mail it to someone or deliver it right those things are so inefficient so let's talk about just kind of go to back to the basics of what is a digital transaction and why does it make sense today yeah that's it i mean that's sort of been docusign's bread and butter since day one yeah it was it started as a real estate idea the founder saw these piles of paperwork that he was having to go through and thought, gee, wouldn't it be nice to be able to digitize all this and be able to sign it from, from the internet? Um, to this day, the real estate use cases like writing offers or taking a new listing are some of our most popular use cases for DocuSign. And it's really that simple, right? We could literally sit here, by the time we're done talking today, have uploaded a piece of paperwork, tagged it up with where people need to initial or sign it, send it out for signature, and ostensibly they could have signed it and sent it back. So it's, it can really be that simple as I need this piece of paperwork signed and you got people in two different locations and it can all be online and you can go a lot more complex from there but it can be as simple as that too. Well I, I've heard great stories from uh, some of our top producing brokerages. One gentleman was literally flying to Europe, um, must have not have been over the ocean yet because you don't have wireless when you're over the ocean somewhere in the United States, um, sent all the paperwork over for a multi-million dollar property for one of his clients that was in Asia. And by the time he landed, the whole deal was done. Yeah. Well, so, we, yeah, we hear those types of stories a lot, right? It's, uh, <clears throat> it, it, it can help to streamline and sometimes save deals if you can get stuff done that quickly. So, yeah. So, so let's just, just kind of walk through a digital transaction for us. Like what are the steps and DocuSign is certainly one of the providers. There are many others. So this isn't just a commercial for you guys. It's like, but what are the steps and where does it help an agent be more efficient? Yeah, I mean, I think we can we can see efficiency. Basically, the way that we think about <clears throat> digital transaction management is very centered on agreement processes, right? And when you think about it from paperwork and from agreements, pretty much anything can be digitized. Everyone knows what their high volume paperwork is. Everyone knows what those things may need to be templatized and sent out uh, over and over again. Uh, there's also a lot of fringe paperwork that goes with the real estate business, but pretty much any agreement, right, can be streamlined digitally by uploading it and signing it that way. Uh, with the exception in the closing process, there's about four or five pieces of paper which are still notarized, right? The deed and certain things still need to be notarized in most every state. Uh, but otherwise, pretty much anything could be digital and could be uh, could be signed that way. So there's a lot of great opportunity there to start really basic and then grow into the full transaction management uh, set of tools. So I, I hear it. This isn't a commercial for us, but the way that we sort of think about it, we have two different products. One is just the e-signature product, upload something, get it signed. Uh, the other, the full transaction management product is think of, of that as sort of a more fully baked SaaS solution uh, that allows brokers and admins and agents to all coalesce around the paperwork that needs to go into an entire transaction so you can organize the whole thing. So when we think about it end to end, that's sort of the more sophisticated end is getting all of the forms and all of the documents into a framework or a placeholder online so that you can check off that all the paperwork is there. And then the broker's not even reviewing it until they know that every T is crossed, every I is dotted, and everything is there and ready to go. Um, Dennis just mentioned, and I've heard this about Florida too, Dennis, that New York State just approved a virtual notary service, and I believe Florida just did the same thing. There's an e-notary. So even that piece is now getting getting uh, virtualized, uh, if you will. <clears throat> that's awesome. That's uh, We knew about New York, but that's just how quickly times are changing. Uh, mm -hmm. I, that's the first I'm hearing about Florida. But yeah, we also... 
we have had for over a year a tool at DocuSign that gives notaries the ability to go on and we give them like a digital stamp. And it's a free account, right? Signers, anybody can sign something in DocuSign for free. So notaries are no exception there. But it's a different kind of account where they can go in, put in their credentials to their notary database, and we return a digital stamp. And so we're able to combine that now with a Zoom call in New York to be able to allow some of that stuff to be notarized uh, remotely. So for the most part, our tool is still an in-person uh, digital notary tool, but it's crazy to see how quickly some states are responding to this and how much that's being used as sort of a catalyst for, for change. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to see how quickly this stuff is changing. It is. There, there's another tool for, for the audience too you might want to check out called Trust Funds. And that's being offered through um, MLSs around the country. I think some brokers might buy it directly too. And that's to automate the collection of earnest money. So another okay. com another component where you might have had a physical check and had to walk it across. Now you can upload money, can be transferred automatically. It's much more secure than, frankly, a lot of the phishing scams and things that are out there today because it's it's got, just like um, DocuSign does, there's many different uh, note, or, uh, verifications throughout the process. So that's another one to check out too. So to, to really, you can do everything now from your living room if you need to, right? That's Bottom right, line. yeah. And Ernest, Ernest and Bankshot are two others that I know of along those same lines that are, mm -hmm. it's everything from taking a picture of the check to getting the entire uh, Ernest money deposit flow digitized. So yeah, pretty cool. Those, those services I'm sure are pretty busy right now too. <laughs> I'm sure. So I, you know, wait. I think we are. We're all seeing. Actually, I heard some statistics uh, last week on a call with Paradatum that uh, across 1,800 markets, and they measure MLS data, so it's real-time data. They said that last week versus a year ago at the same week, list new listings were up, were down about 50%. So are you seeing some decreases in the amount of signatures that are happening, or are there areas that are actually increasing right now with you know with people using more virtual services? Yeah, I mean, so my role at DocuSign is specific to all of our real estate segments. Um, that said, I haven't, and we generally don't go in and pull sort of the overall volume of signatures that we see. Uh, anecdotally, sure, I mean, we've seen the news, right? There's folks getting furloughed or laid off in this space, so, and there aren't many listings I can look online right now and see that there's not that many listings in my neighborhood. So we know that things have slowed down and we're certainly hearing that from our customers who say, look, I used to need, have a need for 50 agents and now I only need 40 or 30. Uh, areas that we're seeing an increase actually with DocuSign is with property management, right? So rentals maybe were a little slower to adopt something like this. And now, and that applies to the entire life cycle of leasing as well, right? I was sharing earlier that uh, we're, we're hearing from even some universities where the dorm rooms have cleared out and they usually do the paperwork in person to check people out of their dorm room. And now they're saying, look, we need 5,000 of these to be able to do it remotely because our students are scattered all over the country. They've all gone home. So we're seeing an uptick in usage for rentals both on both sides of the rental and then in title services as well, right? Sort of that big stack of paper that shows up with the notary, they're starting to find ways to slim that down by doing as much digitally as they can so that they don't need to rely as much on the in-person notary. So everything that goes into the pre-close, maybe there's some post-close stuff, and certainly a lot of the closing process. So those are two bright spots, I guess, for us. Uh, we've been busy there, probably not the kind of busy we would we would want, right? But uh, we, we're certainly seeing that those are a lot of folks who knew of us, they knew of these types of tools, and now they're kind of getting off the fence and starting to deploy them. So that's kind of the forced disruption you were just talking about earlier, right? That they all knew they were there, but they never felt the pain enough to be able to have to, to have to do it. Now they have to do it because people can't come into the office. I think so that's they, right. Yeah. I spent a lot of time reading through some of the opportunities that, that we've seen come in. And that's sort of what we're hearing is, yeah, we looked at you guys a year ago. We couldn't get traction internally to deploy this. But, but now all of a sudden people care and they want to do this. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's sort of the disruptive element of this is that it's it's uh, necessity is the mother of invention, right? <laughs> People are finding ways to keep business moving. Well, you know, here here's an interesting um, thought about that too. That I do agree with you that necessity is the mother of invention. But what we've done a lot of research on our other business in Wave Group, and what we find sometimes is that the um, two things we, that we see. One is that sometimes agents have a perception that if I do too much in an automated way, 
it somehow reduces my level of uh, perceived service, right? That it's it's too easy to do it. And actually what we've heard from consumers because we talk to them all the time too, is it's just the opposite, right? The, the, the more, the, the fact that I have to sign something in, ink in, in a room is it doesn't make my perception of my agent any stronger. And frankly, a lot of the times, the things that were slowing people's perception of a positive of a transaction down had nothing to do with the agent. They were the title, mm -hmm. they were the mortgage, they were all the peripheral steps that you have to take. Yeah, I could um, see that inspections or something else. That, yeah. Yeah. So the more that an agent not only pushes to do all of their all their the the pieces they directly are a part of uh, online, but also all of those other components, it, it basically it frees you up to talk to them about things that that worry them about the document as opposed to worrying about where to sign it, right? It's more about, am I there to support you as your counselor through the process? So you get get the paperwork out of the way. That's not the issue. The issue is what's on the paperwork and yeah, what's your expertise right. about the paperwork, right? Yeah, and I've heard it said time and time again, the fundamentals of this business have not changed. Service is still at the core of the real estate business, but it's what type of service you're providing and how you choose to deliver that service that's going to going to be the differentiator for anyone i think and uh being able to i mean i i i assure you there are folks out there right now using every tool at their disposal to continue to provide good service right even though they're at home and i heard it said on a webinar last week i really like this quote that there are agents who are furloughing themselves right now right they are basically saying there are no listings i'm going to sit it out and wait until normal comes back and I would argue that's maybe not the right approach, right? You should be probably looking at how to load up the pipeline, how to continue to transact any way that you can, how to do open open out there showings virtually, um, leveraging those tools, right? Because I'm sure that there are agents out there who are doing that. And those are the folks who will have those long-term customers and a stronger pipeline and stronger, you know, they'll probably thrive more on the other side of this when things do get closer back to normal. Absolutely. I mean, that's one of the main reasons for Coffee Chat is that if you are not necessarily furloughing yourself, but if your market just because of what's happening has slowed down for whatever reason, now's the time to get comfortable with these types of things, right? Because <laughs> once you do get back, and I mean, I, I kind of believe that we're kind of like a balloon, like we it's like tightened it up. And as soon as <laughs> as soon as they say we can go back to work, it's going to be like, ah, and all this stuff is going to explode, right? Like it's a, I don't think demand's going away. I think it's just getting pent up, right? People are just That's afraid. Right. Um, there are lots of people that aren't afraid, by the way. There's still a lot of business being done. I think the perception with consumers is it's over and it's really not. It's really not over. I've talked to a lot of agents that are doing business. Um, but if you do see a slowdown, right? That's why we're talking about these things. So um, one of the questions we just got, and we've got a, a link in the chat to actually help you with this one, I think, is uh, Julie's asking, what are the best realtor programs for managing our state approved forms and don't they include e-signing? So do you want to talk to that a little bit? Yes, it depends on the state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we at DocuSign have built into our transaction management tool uh, over a hundred forms libraries now and we're marching towards nationwide coverage so it really depends uh on where you are whether you could leverage those tools uh i i think uh services like zip form and instanet did a really good job starting kind of 10 or 15 years ago getting the industry from paper to a digital form um so those are still member benefits for a lot of folks uh in market various state local and even nar has i think a zip form thing docusign is embedded into zip form so you can actually use us for signature within zip form uh but yes the form solutions are they really vary by state um but we we certainly offer something there and then, then there's sort of the the standard um zip form instant uh form providers as well so, so your to answer um, uh, the question we just got, your your electronic signature platform is baked into Zip Forms, which of course and many people have. I think Transaction Desk has its own electronic signature process, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Uh, yes, they do. And in fact, I think Zip Form has a couple different options, but I think DocuSign is the more heavily utilized there in Zip. And then, yeah, like I say, our transaction management tool has full forms libraries that are pre-tagged with smart tags as well. So uh, we're getting there as well. And, and probably by the end of this year, we'll have a nationwide agent-centric product as well. Awesome. So um, 
because one of the things we like to do on this show is provide value and help people. Um, I think if we put it in the chat, tell us about the free 90 day offer and the, and the discount right now that's available to agents and we'll, we'll show people. I think it's, it's on the screen right now. That's DocuSign. Oh no, that's not it. It's right here under realtor benefits. Perfect. So, yeah. Yeah, so I think we were all still waking up watching the stock market crash when uh, NAR reached out to us. I mean, it was the early days of this when, when they reached out to us and said, what can you do for mm -hmm. our members? And we've been a long time uh, partner to NAR. They've been a partner of ours for over 10 years. And uh, we sprung into action. We, we moved to a 90-day free trial. So anyone who is not a DocuSign customer, if you're a new customer, uh, you can trial DocuSign for 90 days for free through that NAR link. If you want to buy it, we've actually added on an additional 25% discount. So you can buy it directly for an additional 25% off the already reduced NAR price. So uh, for realtors, that's a pretty good benefit. And the, the thought process there was uh, let's get folks through the next few months and kind of give them a tool that they can use for free uh, to, to get through these this tough times and these transactions that they're doing now. So, so if take take advantage of that link. We'll send the link out too with the recording. But um, great great deal to get everything for ninety days and then to get a discount beyond that. That's one of the things that we're seeing a lot of is like if you've got the cash right now, this is the you know they we all we've always heard that expression cash is king right. But it's kind of true right now. You can get discounts on things that are valuable long after COVID is over at rates that you would never be able to buy in normally. So if you can afford to do it, this is the time to do it. That's uh, right. It just makes more sense. Now, let's while we're on that topic on the, on the screen, I just put another uh, link up there for everyone to see. Hey, let me type it in again, just to make it easy for everyone. Tell us about the, the training that's available because you know people that haven't done this before we're going to need some help with you know this we're just having a nice chat but they really need to get more detail right how where would where do they go to do that yeah i mean we have a super robust support site uh that would be the first stop and frankly i would argue you could probably find most of what you would need both to get started and to get into the advanced features just by following the breadcrumbs of, of uh kind of where i think marilyn you've got a link there for getting them started on what that looks like to use DocuSign. So I would start there. Uh, there are, there are obviously for brokerages, there are more robust training packages available, but uh, we turn all of our training inside out and put it all on the site. So it's not, uh, there, there's nothing behind the curtain there. Pretty much everything that you would need would be on our website. And there's a ton of videos and a ton of how to's and FAQs and all kinds of stuff in there. So uh, I often find I go to our support site to learn more about our own products as much as uh, resourcing. Uh, internally so i would say that's a pretty good resource to, to go with and just to be clear a broker can buy docusign or an agent can buy it correct maybe yep. explain how that works a little bit yeah so agents would buy on the website uh it's pretty simple it's an e-commerce platform you can go on to docusign.com and buy a seat and get going right away uh it, it then can get more uh robust and more complex from there so if brokers want to buy i think it's a five seat minimum 10 seat minimum something like that uh for brokerages to buy uh there are economies of scale that go up from there for on our seat packages and then obviously the transaction management product can be included in that the forms that go with that can be included uh, and we actually do some training and deployment stuff uh, standard with all the brokerage accounts that we sell so there's a lot more for brokerages as well if if that's where uh if the entire brokerage wants to sort of consolidate things and roll it up and get everybody onto one platform so i'm going to bottom line this for a minute because i've heard this from a lot of my agent friends the reason they use docusign and and not just not just when we say docusign some people just think electronic signature we're also talking about the transaction management platform right there's two there's two components right. to it but the reason that they like it and the reason that they use it even though some of them kind of went to it kicking and screaming, to be honest, is they get paid faster. Yeah. Bottom line. If your deal is cleaner, faster, your check comes to you faster. It's that simple, right? I so that's it, it. especially at a time like right now where cash flow is um, probably not as great as it's been. Um, you know, if there's any incentive to do it, it's I want my check in my hand faster. This is a way to get there. And I think that's the old adage of the industry, right? Give give folks a way to get to their their commission check faster, and they'll, you know, if, if it's a really neat, cool technology tool that doesn't do that, maybe they'll use it for a while, but ultimately it's going to fall by the wayside. 
Yeah, with something like DocuSign, that's exactly right. I think that's been the staying power of a product like this is it does actually streamline stuff. You're not driving all over town. You're getting stuff signed within a day um, and that helps you get there faster. So that's right. Well, it also helps you not get in any trouble, right? So if you make sure and talk about that, how, yeah. how DocuSign is kind of a, a report card on how making sure the transactions complete, right? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, in setting up anything from a single form, you can make sure that nobody skips a signature or an initial that's required. Uh, and that can then roll all the way up to the transaction management tools where no one can skip an entire set of paperwork. So you can templatize all that stuff so that nothing is missed along the way uh, and it's all compliant and error free. So. Yeah, I think that's that's right. That's another key benefit of something like this is you actually get that compliance uh, baked into the templatization that you would set up. Uh, Laura's asking, isn't Authentisign the same? Uh, it, it's, it, it is a similar process. And again, one, one of what we're trying to do here today is just encourage all of you to take advantage of DocuSign or Authentisign or Zipforms or whichever tool that, that you prefer. But the point is getting your your transactions online is going to save you so much energy, so much time. And mm -hmm. frankly, even for the non, like one of the things that, that I worried about with these, these when they first came out was, well, what about the non-technical consumer, right? Sometimes we say, well, they'll never use all this stuff. And the truth is, and I, I've used Authentisign actually to, uh, to sell a home in uh, New York State, believe it or not. And um, it's, it's so simple. I mean, there's uh, every form is there, and it literally there's just like a little yellow box or red. I think in your case, it's a little red, yellow and red signature, right? Um, it says sign here, and you literally click it, click it, click it, click it, click it, and you can sign ten documents in you know three minutes. Now, yeah. you don't want them to necessarily sign in three minutes. You want them to read it, and that's that's the job of the agent to make sure they're reading them, right? That's right. Um, but that's that. That aside, in that market is baked right into the MLS solution, and I can tell you as a consumer now, I hopefully I'm not one of those non-tech savvy consumers doing this work with you guys, but I, you know, I'm talking even to my mother who sold a house in New York state also, who's she's 88. And I can tell you, she calls it the Facebook <laughs> and the iPad, right? This is not a tech savvy woman we're talking about. <laughs> she said it was fine. It wasn't, it wasn't difficult and it made it a lot easier than having all this paper all over the place. Of course she made me print it and put it in a paper file for her, but that's okay. You know, she got through it. So. It's fine. No, so, um, you know, there's a, <clears throat> I believe it's a, what's the gentleman's name? Madison Hildebrand. Is that right? The guy that's, um, that's uh, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the Madison Hildebrand. Right? Yeah. So one of the things that he did and there, I have the link here for you guys to read that too. And we'll send that again in the recording. Um, but tell us about like, he's, 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 what tell, well, tell us about Madison, who he is and why does he like DocuSign? He's one of the things, I honestly have never seen the show, but he's on the Million Dollar Listing LA, I believe, and uh, was a very good symbiotic relationship with him for a number of years as a big DocuSign proponent, right? So he uses uh, both our e-signature and our transaction management tools to process all of his deals. So uh, that's what you'll see if you watch the video. It's just sort of uh, this guy who has obviously a lot of transaction activity and a lot of big deals on the line. Uh, using DocuSign to run all of those deals. So. so let's just, let's get tactical for a minute. <clears throat> and then if there's any other questions, feel free to jump in guys and let me know what they are. But so let's say that I'm an agent, I'm, I'm listening right now. I, this makes sense to me. Of course, I want to get paid faster. Who doesn't, right? Um, <clears throat> but my pay, my process is pretty paper-based today, right? I, I may I may use electronic signatures here and there. I've gotten pretty comfortable with that. But beyond that, I'm still you know, walking paper around and showing people in person and things like that. What What's the first step? If someone said today, I want to take my step, myself one more step toward doing online digital transactions, what would you say would be a good place for them to start? Well, you're reminding me of the kind, kind of conversations we have around here about housework and it's to just get started, <laughs> just start somewhere. Um, no, it's uh, think of the probably the biggest need and frankly, the biggest use cases that we see usually are on offers, are on writing up new listings, uh, disclosure packages. And then if you're in the leasing business or rental business, short term or long term, uh, there's obviously use cases there as well, or you can send out a rental agreement and get it signed. So uh, needs based, uh, where, where do you see the biggest need? Where do you see the biggest value? And potentially what's the simplest piece of paper that you could send out and get signed uh, to help keep a deal moving? Uh, right now, I think that needs a little bit 
escalated given that we're all sort of marooned uh, remotely. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I would say just sort of get started. Get started with something simple, drag it in, uh, drag your signature fields onto it and, and away you go. Uh, leveraging us through a platform like ZipForm obviously has its benefits as well because the forms are all in there. Um, or through our own transaction management tool. But yeah, I would just say uh, start on something that you see to be a need, like an offer or a listing or a disclosure package, or even just a simple uh, piece of paper that's off to the side of all of that. Um, and and I, I, one of the benefits of our system is it's pretty easy to use. You'll figure it out pretty quickly. So uh, <clears throat> Dennis suggests as a place to start, send PDF of the complete contract and then send the electronic signature version since they can't read the full contract when you jump to the signature block. So you can kind of do it both, like email it to them, but then also show them the whole contract. Um, and, and and you're right. Um, in fact, here's one thing you can do, not that any of us are dying to do this, but we just submitted our taxes and we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, we paid, we signed all of the, you know, there's 14 different places you have to sign all your taxes. We uploaded that and signed it. And it, it's literally, there's a little, pen and you take that little pen and you drag it over to the signature and then poof it pops up because it, it knows that it's you and says okay sign here marilyn wilson you click a button and away you go i mean it's super that's simple. right actually that's a really good point just even something that you need to sign anything can be uploaded and signed in the same sitting um my examples i used to use for that would be you know your kids summer camp or soccer camp or whatever they were going to i don't know <laughs> Oh, they're going to need that is right now. But yeah, pretty much the same, right? We, we, we can see that being a really easy sort of drag in and sign it in, in the same sitting. Exactly. Okay, so I uh, wanted to just let the audience know that uh, we have, we, and as we do, we do these every day. So make that good habit, just like the gentleman that was stuck on the boat does and come with us every morning. Um, tomorrow, we've got uh, Teresa King Kinney, who's the CEO from the MLS in Miami, uh, uh, does a great job of, of helping partners with all kinds of great technologies that don't cost you anything uh, to help you generate business. And she's going to talk to you not only about what goes on in Miami, but what goes across the country. So if you're not from Miami, it'll still be really helpful. And then um, on Tuesday, or I'm sorry, on Wednesday, we have Colleen Doyle, <clears throat> who's talking about um, the Right Tools Right Now program, which I believe at DocuSign is part of that, if I'm not mistaken, Wes. I, I think that's what it's called. I think that's right, yep. Yeah, so in that program, there's all kinds of free training, discounts like the one that Wes described to us earlier, um, uh, uh, updates on what's going on with each state and what essential means and what it doesn't mean, all kinds of amazing um, resources. They've taken all of what you need and putting it all in one place. So again, a great place to get free uh, or discounts on things that uh, you may not have been able to see. There's some, I, I saw one thing specifically, there was a great video on how to do a virtual open house, for example, which I know is something a lot of people are, are wondering about. The other thing that it includes, which is really neat, is it includes, um, I'm not sure the time frame, but it, it includes a free subscription to telehealth. So if you haven't tried that, that's a whole other thing that's interesting. You can log on. You have a video chat with a, a, an actual physician. You explain what your symptoms are and whatever, not just COVID and any kind of thing. And uh, they'll help you remotely because of course, many people that are sick can't go out of the house or don't wanna go out of the house at this point, especially if someone's more elderly. Like I've got a 88 year old in my house, I wouldn't want her to go out. So that's included in the right tools right now. So that's a great uh, member benefit that uh, that's being promoted there. So definitely tune in on Tuesday. Colleen Doyle is the director of that program. She's going to tell us all about it. It's going to be great. So I, um, I have used those a couple of times, and that's another great example of once you've tried it, you probably won't go back for certain use cases. Uh, if it's something mild or you can do it over the phone or via a Zoom like this, it's fantastic. Yeah, because what happens when you go to the doctor? Normally, they, they take a look at you. They take your, you know, and they, they there's ways that they can actually, like, take your pulse and stuff. I don't even remember how they do it, but they can do some of that over, over the, you know, over the Internet. And if there's anything that's significantly wrong, they're going to send you for a test anyway, right? You're not going to, yep. they're not going to diagnose it at that moment. So why do you have to go to the office, sit in, you know, wait in the waiting room for two hours, you know, get a nurse practitioner for three minutes, get the doctor for another three minutes and have to go home and then go back and do what you're going to do anyway. So it's a certainly it's for, a for great service or something you, where you know what it is that you need. They can uh, they usually help there. So, yeah, exactly. So 
also wanted to tell uh, for all of the audience today, if anybody would like to sign up automatically to get all of the uh, coffee chats that are coming in, um, you know, feel free to do that. Send us, put an email in the in the chat box, and we'll send that. We'll do that for you. Okay. Um, we also have on the uh, thank you note. We'll also show you the. Um, there's all of the coffee chats. So if you're if you're tired of binge watching on Netflix and want to binge watch a coffee chat series, <laughs> feel free. And again, if anybody wants a um, <clears throat> wants to sign up for RE Technology, put your name in the in the chat box, and we'll we'll get you signed up for that as well. So, uh, thank you so much, Wes. I really appreciate your help today, and <clears throat> thanks to all of you that have attended. Uh, Michael, thanks for the M Michael says awesome job, Marilyn. Thank you for everything you do to help us agents. I'm here to have, here to help Mike in, in every way that I can. So, um, thank you, Marilyn. It's been great. Yeah. And if there's any anybody on the call that has any topics that they would like us to cover that we haven't yet covered, um, <clears throat> feel free to let us know about that too, because we're trying to create a broad variety of, of tools that we know are going to help you with the, being successful at virtual selling. Okay, So thanks again, Wes. I uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for all the discounts and things that you're offering to realtors right now on their behalf. I, we really appreciate you you giving it the office, so to speak, to help everybody ride this out. So um, more to come, but we'll hopefully, yeah. Hopefully and keep we'll us see. honest. Make sure that we're delivering the service that uh, that you need, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I, I hear great things about DocuSign, but um, sure, I'm sure it can always be better as well. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, everybody have a great day. Go out there and, you know, go check out some of that training that Wes said, or go go to that Right Tools right now and get the discounts because it's uh, there's some great, great things for you to be found right now. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you all so right. much, everybody. You all. Bye.